Hi, I'm Joel Worthington, President of Mr. Electric. Thanks for joining me today. I want to talk to you about overcoming the odds, overcoming adversity, and overcoming negativity. Sometimes in life we just didn't get blessed with all the talent and, and all the skills, and we have that negativity trying to hold us down, and sometimes it comes in the form of what people say, you can't do that, and you can't make it, and so it kills our dreams. So let me first tell you, can't never could. Okay, can't never could. Uh, if you've got that attitude, if you're listening to voices that say you can't, you're never going to achieve. So you've got to turn those off and you've got to beat the odds and you can make it to the top if you never give up and persevere. I want to talk to you about someone who did that. His name was Rudy Rudiger. And in 1993, a premiere film came out called Rudy that talked about his life. Now this guy in high school, he didn't have a very high GPA. PA. He was dyslexic, and of course, back uh, in his day in the 70s, they didn't really have a lot of, uh, of things to help people with dyslexia, so he had those odds of even making it academically through school. But this guy had a dream, and his dream was to play for Notre Dame. And he wanted to play for Notre Dame. It was the, the biggest thing he wanted to do in life. It was his dream. The problem was Rudy Rudiger was 5'6 and 165 pounds. I don't know if you know a lot about football, but that doesn't make for a lot of chances to get on a major D1 football team. You just don't find a lot of 5'6, 165 pounders on the team. But he had a dream, and he wouldn't let anybody stop him. Family, friends told him to give up. You, you can't, uh, you're never going to achieve that dream. You're too little. All of the things that would say to most people to quit and give up, but not Rudy. He made it onto the scout team at Notre Dame. And by the way, with his dyslexia and GPA, listen, we're not talking about where I went to college, University of Alabama. We're talking about Notre Dame. They have some pretty high academic standards at Notre Dame, and so it was tough just to get in school, much less, oh, he doesn't just want to go to school there. He wants to play on the football team, this tiny little wimp that, that doesn't weigh enough soaking wet to be on the team, and, and here he goes. He made it on the scout team, and then in the final game uh, against Georgia Tech, Notre Dame scored enough and got ahead, so the coach put him in for three plays. And on the final play of the game, this 5'6", 165 pounder sacked the quarterback to put the finishing touches on a great win against Georgia Tech, and his teammates carried him off the field. What a career! But I tell you what, not just what a career, what a man. What a guy who wouldn't give up. What a guy who, against all odds, continued to move on, didn't listen to the negativity, and continued to persevere, and his dreams came true. What are you dreaming about? Do you have a dream? Is there something in your heart that you want to achieve, that you want to be able to do something really great? And you know what? That may be personal. It may not even be great in other people's eyes. It may be something for you or your family or a career goal that you want to achieve and maybe somebody's told you you can't. Maybe you didn't get weren't born with all the great skills and all the talent and all of those things. Well, I want to tell you, your dreams can come true if you'll never give up and you'll get the negative talk out. Follow your dreams and never stop believing.